Desecated the temple by erecting an altar to Zeus and sacrificing pigs within the sacred walls. Not a good scene. They're all over. They obstructed the temple. It looked kind of like edge. In response, Matthias and his five sons, correctly called the Hasmoneans, but often called the Maccabees, launched a large scale rebellion against the Syrian Greek rulers. And thus, the event starts. Okay, and by the way, so uh, this is to avoid me talking, so but I just interject one thing. A lot of people say the Greeks, they weren't the Greeks, they were Syrians who were influenced by Greek culture. And the word for that in, in, in general uh, history is called Hellenist. Doesn't mean people who like Helen. Is, Hel is any Helen here? No, no offense. Okay. Um, uh, Noah. Noah. All right, take a break. When the king died, his son, Matthias died, his son, Judah, known as Maccabee, and led the rebellion in December 1665 BC. The rebels succeeded in driving most of the Syrian Hellenists out of Jerusalem, relying largely on royal taxes. The cleansed the second temple, rebuilt the altar, and rebuilt the kingdom. The most, and let me just point out right over there, on that table. Uh, Noam, would you mind lifting up the big Lenore? That's the original seven branch Lenora. Not the original, but that's what it looked like. Seven branches instead of today's eight. Go ahead, sorry. The gold seven branch candelabra, which had kept burning internally. The Syrian, the Syrians withdrew and allowed the Hasmonians to govern over so much independent Jerusalem. 
that has money and kingdom lasting for 102 years until they sent to Rome for help. Big mistake. And then Rome took over 33 BC. According to the Talmud, one of Judah's one of Judah's says the text, a miracle occurred during the rebellion of the second temple, although there was only enough dedicated oil to keep the menorah lamp lit for a single day, the plant continued flickering for eight months, each time enough time, enough time to make fresh supply. Therefore, the later rabbis proclaimed Santa, a yearly eight-day festival, and the people adopted it as one of the first post-biblical holidays. Okay, again, Rabbi interjecting here for the adults. Um, the story of the oil only is found in the Talmud, and the Talmud was written after the Romans got finished with us. So the rabbis were a little upset. They didn't really like the Maccabees, which we'll find out a little later, uh, because they turned out to be not such great rulers, and they persecuted the rabbi, and they made uh, one of the Maccabee brothers the high priest and the king, and he wasn't really uh, the Vedic background. So they downplayed the military side, and they also, by that time, Romans in power, and you don't fight against the Romans. They said, no, don't start another rebellion. Ultimately, they did, as you know. And uh, so the rabbis wanted to emphasize the spiritual message instead of a military message. So that's where the story of the oil got started. Was it a miracle? Yes. Why? Because a small army beat back the huge Syrian army. Okay. Uh, last, Stephanie, what are we going to do? Last two readings, I got to be it for you. But okay, Jason, would you uh, either split it with her or Wait, just... no, how Marcus do what? Marcus did what? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Where's Marcus? You've been nominated. Marcus has a good speaking voice. This is not in your book, but we're just better, better than them than me. Okay. You know the five and six. Uh, huh? And who? Gretchen. Gretchen. This cold read. Okay, you stand here. Gretchen here. There you go. You come in late. That's what happens. <laughs> it's easy. Perfect. The nightly Hanukkah celebration revolves around the kindling of a nine branch menorah known in Hebrew as a Hanukkah. Correctly, Hanukkah. Yeah. On each of the holidays, eight nights, the other candles added to the menorah after sundown. The ninth candle was Hanukkah to help her to light the others. Recite blessings during, during this ritual and display this to the menorah prominently. And you may have heard it. By the way, I want to apologize. The other day, Rabbi just sloppy. Uh, the, the event I mentioned in services was not Whitefish, Montana, but Billings, Montana. In 1992, in Billings, Montana, a family lit their menorah and had it in their window, and it was in the boys' bedroom. And the little the, they had a custom you light the menorah facing out when you can, uh, so everybody can see the beauty and the public, and somebody threw a rock through the window, brick through the window. So everybody in the town of Billings heard about it, and they put a, a uh, like a graphic in the newspaper with a, a cartoon of a menorah, and everybody put menorahs in their windows. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. A miracle happened in Billings, Montana, to prevent to set up anti-Semitism. Okay, so here we go, last reading. Gretchen, remember the test to see if you can read all those funny Hebrew words. All right, well, here we go. Oh, don't, don't, don't worry about you. Okay. We barely know each other. <laughs> okay, let's see the story of the oil. Traditional Hanukkah foods are fried in oil, oil such as vodkas, potato pancakes, and soup and yotes, uh, jam filled donuts. Which we're going to eat in a minute. Yay! Um, other Hanukkah customs include trying with a four set of sweet cups called cradles, exchanging gifts and distributing gels or chocolate coins to remember to be independent trading nation. Plus, Hanukkah has several important messages religious freedom and diversity, keeping faith during diversity, and bringing light and dark places in our lives. Perfect. Yay! Good job. So, as I said, I just wanted to show off these scholars in our community. Who have learned they're, they're, they're specialists. We spent three weeks on Hanukkah. And then this Tuesday, oh, I, I may get the announcements out of the way real quick. Tonight is fun. We're going to eat lots of latkes and light the menorahs. But if you haven't had enough, tomorrow night at six o'clock, it's on the website. There is a Zoom link to celebrate Hanukkah at home. You don't have to go anywhere with the synagogues in northern Colorado. Um, uh, really, and two in 
uh, for college. So that's, I'm, I'm going to be online. Rabbi Sally Feinstein and I will see the talks Tuesday night. Again, if you haven't had enough Hanukkah, come back here and join my class. Raise your hand if you're in our Judaism 101 class so you can see everybody. And that's only a few of them. Uh, come on, Josh. All right, yeah, okay. And uh, Mary. So anyway, right there in the corner, and we're going to have our own lunches. Come and join us Tuesday night. The class goes from 7 to 8.30. Wednesday night, I'm open. If anybody wants to do something. <laughs> Thursday night, I'll be in Lander. The pity me, by driving up to Lander to celebrate Monica with them. Anyway, here we go. Um, take the booklets. Come over where just about where Jason is standing, and he will be your, uh, I would say, guide. Also, because he's doing it on Zoom. Uh, Jason, we have any people on Zoom? Uh, uh, I believe we do. On Zoom land. Okay. Out so Zoom if land. you are a menorah, or if you'd like to light a menorah, there are plenty of extras. Um, mine on this far end is my parents' one that they uh, brought in, um, in, I believe, in uh, in Europe. And it's a traditional oil tanukia. So here we go. Open the booklet to... These are extras, I guess, for, for display. All right, so we have uh, at least one, two, three, four, five, six extras. Phyllis, are you going to put light yours? Page four. Phyllis. So is there anybody here who wants to like who doesn't have a menorah? I'm, I'm yeah. like you can like yours. Yeah. 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 Come on up here. Okay. Let's put get it. some of the folks. I want to get some folks situated who don't have a menorah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to let you in. You know what? Okay. All right. This is Bring a little red book with me, but if not, I'm going to be. Uh, we we yeah. gather in the early blackness and deep cold. A winter solstice. Wow, look at this crowd. All right. Finding more from one another, turning darkness to a time of light, nourishing hope where reason fails. Grateful for small miracles, we rejoice in the wonder of making light where there is darkness and daring to hope when despair is all around us. Tonight is the fourth night of Hanukkah, so normally we would not say the third blessing, which is thank you, God, for giving us life to be together. But Perhaps for some of you, this is your first Hanukkah with our community. If it is, we have an excuse to say the third blessing. Uh, Light the shamus and pass the candle down. Okay. We're going to keep the light going. We're sharing the light. Uh, now we've right, right, four, three, two, one. Just light it and pass it down. Oh, go get your own shamus. I see. Light your Quick translation, we bless you, source of life. Living spirit of all time and space, born planting within us these holy days to light the to remember our freedom. Amen. Blessing number two on page uh, four. Of 
Friday. You work on Friday. Right? Yeah.
This concludes our Zoom cast for Hanukkah 5784.